Welcome folks to the channel, Clunkers and Classics, where we are restoring this 1972 Chevy Nova. Got my little helper there. And Kitty's around, Kitty's around somewhere. She was up playing with the cardboard boxes a minute ago. Okay, so uh, last episode we got all the jams painted, weather strip on there so the rain can't get in and get water on the new carpet which I'm about to put in here in a little bit. Okay, I uh, this is a manual seat here, driver seat's power. So I got it all bolted in. And then I'm going to unbolt it, put in the carpet, and then bolt it back in. Okay, this bracket here, this bolt here, you can get at it through the back. Because these ones on the, on the Subaru seats are curved a little bit. So that one bolted right up. This one here, I had to put a little spacer right here, and then a long nut and bolt goes through okay and we pull it up and this end here mounts through the uh, tunnel this is for the seat belt here so that one lined up right there now this one was a little bit tougher because it didn't really you can't get a, a nut and a bolt through the through there it's too it's too thick. It's where the pinch weld is. Pinch weld's right here for the unibody. So this is the factory where the factory seat goes. So I, I got a little bracket and uh, bolted that in there and then welded the bracket to the seat. So that's how that one that one mounts. Okay. There's Kitty. What are you doing, Kitty? <laughs> okay. Uh, also, these seats are heated. I'm not going to hook it up. So this one I had to figure out which were the uh, power. And it's got friggin', I don't know, three motors, I guess. This one, this one, and this one. Anyway, you just took a power to this one here. And then you're negative there. I just had it hooked up to the battery and uh, it all works it's I don't know how many positions it is there's a bunch okay then the rest of these are for the uh, well they could be for the seat belt alarm type thing but they're basically for the heater see this is this is for the power motor here and then I don't know which goes to the uh, the heater but we're not going to hook the heater up. So I just got to hook that up. Just run a power wire and a negative there. And uh, that's it. So I pushed it. So it goes all the way forward. And I'm going to hook up the two front ones first. Then go all the way back. And hook up this side. This side here will line up to the tunnel. And uh, see basically I just got this one here lined up. Well, this one here lined up on that little hump, then this one, then the rest of them I had to make fit. Okay, so that's the plan, is to get these seats bolted in there. See, it should fit right on this hump here, driver's one. I just want it to go back far enough. Uh, I don't want it too close to the steering wheel, so I'll have to see how that works. But basically the other side, yeah, it fit there. Then I had to put the little spacer here for that side. And then the back one mounted here. And then the other one, I have to get another little bracket for this the original seat hole. Probably put a little bracket there. But I'm going to get these ones in first. Okay, so, uh, yeah. That should be, that's the plan for today and probably tomorrow. Get all that seat uh, carpet in, then the seats in, 
Uh, I got a whole bunch of stuff coming today and tomorrow in the mail. Now, I looked a year or two ago for seat belts, and I, I didn't find any, any, you know, on eBay or anything. Well, this time I found a bunch. So I don't think we'll have to use the Subaru stuff. I just just one bolt to take that off. Uh, I'll probably take them off because I ordered four seat belts. They're eighteen dollars ninety nine cents because I don't have any that work to fit the front. See here, the front is going to uh, bolt in there and right here. And then I found two for the back that work out of you know out of all of them whatever I had for this car and for the 68 they were all either they, they didn't work inside here the mechanism was screwed up or they were chewed through by rats but anyway I just ordered four new ones okay that'll, that'll come the antenna will come for the radio uh, I had a bunch more stuff we'll go through when it gets here a bunch of little stuff like that so yeah then i got the console the new the console i got from walmart that i put in the 78 i bought one for this one so after the carpet seats are in we'll mount the console here and then we'll put in the uh vent here and the emergency brake deal right here connect all that connect the high beam and all that stuff that goes to the emergency brake there that's the extra wires for the wiper okay yeah I got the antenna coming this antenna's all see it's all busted up here and it's busted up where it comes out of the windshield it's no good so I got the antenna coming okay so I think that's it that's the plan so I'll be back when I got some more to uh, show you. Okay, I got the driver's seat in. Got the power hooked up. Got the one bolt there, just like the other side. The one here, I had to make the little bracket to the factory hole. And then this bolt here, and then the one over there. Okay, yeah, it goes uh, forwards and backwards, and it tilts. And it goes straight up. Pretty cool. Okay. I think that's it then. I'm going to wait on them seat belts and make sure they're going to work before I take those those ones off the seats. And uh, take them out and put in the carpet. Okay, so uh, I'll be back. Okay, guys, the mail just came. Uh, here's the seat belts. I haven't put them in. I think they should fit. Anyway, I got these two and these two here. A set of four for $18.99. Uh, I got a set of gauges for, I think, $27. This is all off eBay. And it looks like it comes with all the stuff there, too. So I'm going to see, take that out and see if that'll fit with a temperature, uh, uh, vents AC vents go in the dash if not I'll put it underneath okay here's the uh, maintenance schedule that was in the glove box although it may be a little bit too big I don't know this was for supposed to be for Nova Malibu Camaro stuff like that kind of a universal that's all dirty in there yeah it's a lot bigger it actually went right in right in here. I don't know. I can put it somewhere. Pretty cool. Would uh 
see here. Change your oil every 6,000 miles. Oil filter every other. Coolant every two years. Lube the chassis every 6,000 miles. Uh, check brakes, exhaust. Tire pressure once a month. Check throttle linkage every 12,000 miles. Same with the emission. Uh, aim the headlights every 12,000 miles. <laughs> And change the transmission fluid and filter every 24,000. So it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a little bit too big, but I don't know. I'll fit it somewhere. Okay. Uh, that's it until we get the next batch of stuff. Uh... I got I went ahead and bought the new molding for the hood uh, I forget how much it was I'll check it when it comes but there'll be another batch of stuff coming in tomorrow uh, the antennas that curl molding some other stuff oh the uh, sill sill washer panels these deals here uh, 68 bucks for the set and I didn't know that I needed the uh, extensions or another 50. I didn't order them yet. They go in back here. I didn't order them yet. Just the main ones here. They should be in tomorrow. Uh, I guess I can lube them. Lube those hinges up. Now, it's a little tight with that uh, new rubber in there. Okay, so I'll be back later. Okay, guys. It's another beautiful sunny winter day in the 60s. I know the news said uh, half the country was in a deep freeze. Oh, well, that sucks. Uh, it's real nice here in the south. Okay, I took the seats out. Vacuumed up some little debris there and i put the seat belts on i went ahead and attached this part of the seat belt to the to the deal that was on the other seat because mainly it was going to be real tight if i went all the way to here and around so the other one i'm going to mount here and then it comes up and then it'll mount to the seat Okay, plus it'd be easier to grab, you know, if you're, if you're uh, sitting there, you can just reach down and grab that. And uh, I don't know if I opened this up before, that's what it looks like. Okay, so I'm fixing to put in the carpet. I unraveled it here. It's, I uh, mentioned in the other video, got it from Rock Auto, 155 bucks ship tax everything uh acc uh proudly made in usa employee owned and operated and all that and it has the uh insulation on the bottom of it see so you don't really need to use all that use dynamat or kill mat or anything really it's pretty well insulated so it's two piece one piece for the back and it should be just like the 78 I put in last time. It'll uh, go down right where it's curved there. And same up here. It should be curved a little bit right where the hump is. And that's kind of where you want to put it. Okay. Actually, it's pretty damn hot out. I'll probably let that sit in the sun for just a few more minutes. Really feel that sun, but I think it'll be okay. It's just that it was in my shop there, it's you can feel it's a little chilly, but yeah, you can see there where the floors go right here. That's the back and then the front. Okay, so I'm gonna wait a few minutes and put that in. Uh, last one in the 78 didn't really require any trimming, 
If it does, it's just going to be right here by the sole plates. And then I got to put in that, uh, I'm going to see where this mounts up to on the front. And I got that one piece of kill mat that I'm going to put way up here. See, there's something missing here with a hole. I don't even know what that is for. But uh, I'll probably take this plastic panel off, put that kill mat up in there, wrap it all the way around everything underneath this insulation here. And then uh, I think this goes on after the carpet. If the carpet goes above this, I'll go ahead and take that out, and put it in after the carpet. Okay, so I'm going to be doing that, and uh, I'll be back later. Okay, guys, I got the rear end. Like I said, it fits in, curves, molded in where the floor is, there and there. And you just had to cut a little piece out for the, for that. Uh, cut a little piece out for the uh, seat belt. And then a little hole, hole here for the... Uh, the seat mounts there and there. So that's it for the rear piece. And the front piece should fit. And, get, and see there's no trimming here. So plate just goes over top of it. And same with the other side. So the front should go just as easy. Okay, I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm almost done. I got the one side in. I was putting those kick panels in. Those four-door ones are a little bit different. Had to trim the trim the edges here to get it in. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that uh, emergency brake in before I put this seat in. Anyway, I got that side. Okay. I uh, got a few items in. Not everything come in. Those sill plates should have came in today. Here's all new uh, door handles, window winders. Okay, got two of the pull handles and then four of the window winders, all black. I got a ton of these, but they're all like clear and crappy looking. And they're not very much, 30 something bucks, I think. Okay, here's the antenna. These were $5 shipped. I don't know how good they are. But you plug it into the stereo on this end, and then this here. That has some three, three amp tape. And then you run that up, and you, you know, can either put it up here. I'll probably put, well, I don't know. They say there, or like here. So you can run it up through the, through the panel here. Something like that. So, uh, I'll, I'll do that later. Okay, so I got to uh, put on that emergency brake cable down the other seat, but it's getting a little chilly out. I was in my t-shirt, and I just had to put my hoodie on. Sun's behind a cloud. So I'm going to go in and get something to eat, and I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, a few seconds for you guys. We'll see you then. Okay, guys, next day, bright and sunny. About 65 degrees out. Okay, got the seats in there. And the carpet in there. I hooked up the antenna. Run it, run it across and up here. And just stuck it right there. It, the stations come in really good. I held it down here, I could tell the difference. Hold it by the floor. So I figure the higher up the better. But you can just, you know, lay it on top of your dash or somebody mentioned they put it inside the glove box. So I'm just going to run it up here behind the pillar post and just stuck it there. Okay, so got that done. Got the emergency brake in there. I still haven't figured out the, uh, what this missing spring is. Uh, and I couldn't, I don't have another spring handy. But anyway, I'll, I'll get to that later. You can push it up, push it down with your foot, and you just lift it up with your foot. But I'll get a spring later. And the brake light does work. The 
brake light comes on when you... Okay, so we got that fixed. Uh, went to Wally Mart. Got some cheap mats. These are like 11 bucks. Two, uh, two front and two back. I'm fixing to put them in there. This console here I bought a while back when I bought the one for the 78. Uh, if you're new, this is uh, made in USA, factory certified. They're 29 bucks at Walmart. And uh, you got your two drink covers here, little storage here. CDs or change or whatever then a locking uh, I should be in the yeah or in the back here got some keys and two screws and two cup holders here for the back passengers and you can lock it so I'm gonna go ahead and fit that in there that's probably all I do is just two screws oh the uh, yeah, when I did the 78, damn, I did the 78 to get it over the hump, I had to cut, I had to cut like this for it to fit on the hump real good, front and the back. So yeah, I'll probably end up having to doing that to this one. Anyway, I'm going to get them in there. Uh, I got the two front armrests pull covers whatever you want to call them i think these were 65 bucks for the pair and uh comes with the covers whole assembly cover and the base okay oh and i also got two uh two door lock knobs from the same place so I got them. I don't even have the door panels yet. Okay. Uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, guys. I put the console in. I just put two screws in there. It's real tight against these seats, but it kind of squeaks a little bit when you... But it's all right. Okay. Uh just stuck these gauges in here tell me what y'all think about that or should I spend a hundred dollars and get the AC vent I haven't hooked up to any of the gauges I just put two screws up here and just kind of set it there see what it looks like I don't know uh, let's see put the mats in That maintenance decal didn't fit on the uh, glove box, so I just stuck it on this door jam. I probably should have put it on the driver's side, but I didn't know where else to put it. Sill plates haven't, still haven't come in yet. Pretty much put them on there, and I'm pretty much done with it, other than uh, the door and the back panels, which I'm fixing to uh, look up. Look up them, see if I can find a set. Okay, I'll give a shout out to uh, one of my subscribers, Steve Harris. He just sent me a whole bundle full of stuff here. Uh, really appreciate it, and I certainly can use them all. In fact, I just bought a little thing of uh, vacuum caps, some grommets, shims, nuts, bolts, screws, some little Nova parts. I wish I had this... Uh, when I have the dash apart, but if I have to take the dash apart, I'll definitely put that in there. And my radiator cap was leaking. I was fixing to buy a new one, so that come in just in time. Radiator cap and a, a little, I think a little ignition thing that goes on the column. Screws, U-joint, another, yeah, I could definitely use one of these again. Not sure what this is for, but yeah, appreciate it. And you guys want to send me stuff, <laughs> email me at uh, clunkersandclassics 
at gmail.com. My email's in the description. What I really need, I still haven't painted this filler here. What I really need is this passenger side. If anybody's got one, it has to be for a two door. Four door won't fit. Uh, let me know, I'll buy it from you or whatever. Uh, most I found is a place that sells a pair for like 150 bucks. And I'm not going to spend that. Uh, yeah, if anybody's got one of them, that's pretty much what I really need right now. As far as all the chrome and everything, I'm going to buy all that new tail lights. The, the hood, hood uh, chrome hasn't come in yet either. And then the uh, little eyebrow moldings, I'm going to buy them new. Okay, well, I'll be back to wrap up this video here in a little while. Okay, guys, the seat's in it. I can actually drive it now. It's not tagged, so I'm not going to go on the road. We'll just drive around the property a little bit. The other thing I need to get on this is power steering. This thing is uh, really hard to turn. good test drive but it's something carburetor sputtering a little bit it wasn't doing it on the 68 so I'm not sure what what the deal is I had to mess around with it. I haven't uh, done anything to this engine, like tune-up wise or anything. I haven't changed plugs or wires or points or anything because it runs so good. I got to redo this and get the right uh, fuel filter on there. I just kind of rigged that up because it was kinked. Might have to cut this off back here or something. Get a straight line at it. But uh, I gotta take that carburetor apart anyway and clean that uh, float. And I'll have to check the vacuum. Make sure all the vacuum things are right. Well, a little while ago, it's why I had it jacked up, the uh, uh, modulator valve vacuum came off. I bet it came off again. I can only clamp it onto one end. I'm gonna have to do something better get that on there but anyway uh yeah that's it that's all i can do to the interior in this video i gotta spray some lube on them hinges but yeah there it is the subaru seats and uh the walmart console pretty much all i got left is the door panels and then just put the sill plates on once i get here 
so yeah i guess that's it for this video um i think we're going to start on the body work next i think we're just about done with uh all the mechanical and interior as far as i can go so we'll start on the uh body next i may do a separate video i got those two patch panels uh for the quarter panels i may make one video for doing that for other people if they want to uh know how to put one on so yeah we'll probably start there start at the back end work our way forward do a few panels at a time get them in primer and work our way around okay so uh subscribe if you haven't and like comment share all that stuff and uh we'll see y'all next video thanks everybody for watching